welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight we're going for another real ale. Uh, it is one that I have a bit of an affinity with because um, I use it as a celebratory drink and it's it, that was the first time I ever tried the beer and this was oh, many years ago. I had got some very good news through the post and I was taken out for a meal by my mum and dad and this beer was on the menu and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. I liked other Badger beers. Never seen this one before, never tried it. And I thought, well, I'm going to have it tonight. And it is this one. It is the Thirsty Ferret from Badger Brewery. And it says, ferret comes from the Latin word for little thief. When they're about, you can be sure trouble is brewing. We still remember the night one such furry ne'er-do-well tipped into the thatched gribble inn and stole himself a taste of our tantalising tawny tipple, loved for its full-bodied biscuity taste. Now then, what's Latin for little thief with great taste in beer? And they go to describe the beer as a moorishly malty amber ale. Dark crystal malt delivers a full-bodied biscuit taste rounded off with subtle floral and lemon hop aroma. Now there's no mention of what particular hops are included in this beer. And I'll be honest, I haven't checked it out to find out what they are. But let's see if it fits what they say. Now before we do, it's 4.4% it's first ferret, so it's easily sessionable. It is available from Tesco's and other good supermarkets. Tesco's is where I bought this and I got it on the 4.4% four for six pounds so it's one pound fifty a bottle not bad was it four for five i forget which either 125 or 150 a bottle on the offer so let's crack her open and see what we got so as for the pour you can see it's amber it's clear lightly carbonated There is no sediment whatsoever to speak of from the bottle. So there we are. Let's say amber, clear as a bell, light carbonation. About a finger's worth of head on there, give or take, and it's an ivory colour. And let's see what it smells like. Malty. Straight away, lots and lots of malt. Slight wheat beer type aromas as well. But predominantly malt. Not a huge amount of hop hit to the nose, but what does it taste like? Yeah. The hops are secondary to the malt, in my opinion. There is that level of bitterness that just about lets you know that it's there. You know, it's it's enough to, to give you something there, you know, just to balance it out. You've got sweet malt, you've got a little bit of bitterness, and you've got a hop profile that just about brings up the rear and mellows everything out. It's really nice. It fades quite quickly from the bitterness into sweetness, and it works really well. It's, it's a beer that you can drink all year round. There's no real heaviness to it that lends itself to winter like a stout would. It's not light and airy like a, a lager or a really pale ale which would lend itself to summer. It's, it's a good all-rounder. It's balanced. It's spot on. It really is. And like I say, for the amount of money that you pay for one of these, it's a bargain. It really is. I mean, it's it's got all the flavours that I like. Maybe maybe just a bit more hop would be needed to give it a really top end score for me. But all in all, it's lovely, you know, and I've got nothing but good things to say about it. So on that note, what would I score it? Well, three is my benchmark for buying again, and I would absolutely without question buy this again. Four is really, really good. And this gets at least a four. For me, 
if it was a bit more hoppy, it would get quite a bit more. But as it stands, with the hops being kind of in the background as opposed to being forefront and hop forward like the beers that I prefer, I'd say this sits about four and a quarter. It's really well balanced. You've got a bit of bitterness, you've got plenty of sweet malt, you've got a little bit of hop in the background. It works really, really well. And on that note, I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this uh, this here Thirsty Ferret. This one, the empty bottle. Pint glass, thankfully is not empty, as we can see, but it will be in the not too distant future. So ladies and gents, thanks for watching. This has been the Thirsty Ferret from Badger Brewery. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.